I'm with Anna Siqueiros of the Siqueiros Foundation and Michael Ornstein. And I'd like to introduce you guys and your thoughts on Siqueiros Foundation. Today's your first day of meeting Anna Siqueiros, yeah. who's also a legendary family. What, what are your thoughts? Oh, oh, oh wow. wow. There you go. That, that's some good thoughts. So tell me, tell me about the foundation. Tell me what the, what the main thrust of it is. The, the main thrust about it is putting color into a concrete world and putting a brighter future for tomorrow's youth. That's the most important thing is that we are able to bring and unite artists of all different medias to come together and as a unit be able to put this color into a concrete world through visual, audio, um, and sensory. You know, being able to really explore the creative spirit that is the mirror of tomorrow. Right, and, and all art as one art. As one art. Like you know, a stream. Right, because we're in this consciousness of developing the ability to spread positive attitude towards the future of tomorrow so much negativity and the only ones that can really savor this is to be able to have the arts give hope for tomorrow yeah. because we're the only ones that can be able to do that. And it's cool you were talking about how artists ought to come together like almost as one organism exactly. to do this. Why not? Right. Why not? Why you, know, yeah. you know, because that we really come in from the earth itself and we play with the earth and you know mother earth is our salvation mm -hmm. and we nurture ourselves through her nurturing us and through that we're able to be one big happy family and then we are a family, yeah, that's, right. family. that's right you and come from new york yeah new that's Jersey. right yeah. Uh, we're here in l.a right We've come together. And people from all over the world, if you're an artist, no matter what kind of art you do, you know, you are going to be in the same exact stream as an artist from anywhere in the world, and it's better to all be together as one stream and doing the same thing, you know, and get, get away from the competition, and I'm doing this, I'm doing that, you did this, da da da, da. you know, to, to, to really all see it as a bigger picture of what it is we're, we're doing as artists while we're alive in our time, right? right. right. Like your great-great-uncle, talk about him for a second. Well, he believed in the prosperity of really telling the truth of what is happening within our environments, uh, you know, in all aspects. And uh, what we want to do is the same thing, is carry on that legacy. You know, we may talk different languages, we may come from different places, different communities, but at the same time, we speak the same language. And especially, you know, the, what he did with the murals, to put it on a wall, to put an image on a wall, to put uh, a concept, a political human concept on a wall for everyone to understand it. And he brought that here, right? Right. And, the, and through that, you were able to see what public art is about. It's for the masses. It's for the people you know, of any gender, of any walk of life. You know, it's like what you were talking about uh, before, you know, on your land. Yes. In New Mexico, we can go and see art that was created on the walls from thousands, thousands years, ago. years ago. Yeah. And what people don't know is that Michael is also an accomplished artist, right? We see in the background some of his work. And that's, um, and Mike, tell people about your love of art. Well, well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like, I've been painting since I'm a little boy. I just never stopped painting, you know? I mean, a lot of people stopped painting. Right. Yeah, I, I started as a child and really enjoyed it, and I kept it very personal to myself. And I paint, uh, like I showed you one of my earliest paintings from when I was a kid, and then I showed you a piece that I did yesterday, and they're pretty much the same painting. Exactly. Which I love, because I see my work as a stream. This painting here is a stream. It's literally a painting of a stream. And I put a couple images on it to play with it. I'm not sure if they're going to stay or go, but that is a stream. The fact that this looks like what it looks like today, but tomorrow it might be a completely different image. You know, and that's how I see art. It's like a stream of consciousness. Yeah. 
in development. Yeah, and develop development. always in development. development. Always in process and flux. Yeah. You know, and, you want yeah. to continue on that, you know, avenue of, of manipulating the flux and being with the flow of what the creative spirit is all about. Yeah, it's exactly what I see my work as. Like if somebody buys a painting from me, they're actually taking it away from me in the sense that, well, I'm not going to mess with that piece anymore. I'm not going to change it anymore. I'm not going to let it flow anymore than, it, than it's flowed, you know? Like this piece, I painted this a long time ago, uh, a, a, I don't know, three years ago, <laughs> and I put it on the wall. Now maybe I'll, I'll change that to something else. Right. And then other pieces I feel like I want to bring, bring with me. But I love what we've been doing. What a beautiful day we've had. Yeah, it's been <laughs> awesome. Really? You know, because yeah. the meeting of the minds yeah. from different specs of the country, yeah. and we're still on the same conscious stream flow. Yeah. And, and that is the power of art. And honestly, like, I've been coming to L.A. for since I'm, like, 18, you know? And this is the first time... I've always been very interested in the history of Los Angeles and, and all that. And this is the first time today I really feel like I, I, I'm in touch with that. I feel like I got in touch with that. Right. It's very you, important to me. Because you need the connect. Yeah, and it's, and, it's you like... Know, the, the, the connection of a similar conscious, you know, flowing stream of, of art. Yes. You know, and, and, and we, culture. we need that. We need the culture. Yeah. We need the, the flow. We need the, the youth to be able to understand and to learn through our process mm -hmm. of actually doing it. And right. not just learning from books, but actually participating in the process of, of the creation. Yeah. You know, of, of combining the consciousness of the creator. Yeah. And that, that is amazing. And just taking it through, through our time, right. you know, while we're here. You know, and I think that's that's really important to pull from history and learn from history and love history and go, like like I was talking about with the paintings, go mm -hmm. back in time and then forward in time and then the present. But it's a very important day for me, man, because I've been I've been really, really yearning for a community here, and mm -hmm. I, I just a couple of days ago I was writing about it and really well, you found really it really kind of praying <laughs> for it almost. You know, and I feel like, wow, man. Now you tapped in, and now yeah, we're going yeah. to start It's amazing, you by chance, to this. perfectly by chance. Yeah. You know, which is so beautiful. Or really is, it, is it by chance? Nothing's or is by that chance. The creator? Well, I mean, I mean, I didn't go and say, I want, <laughs> I, I, I want that. I want, uh, it just came, it came through. Yeah, you like you a beautiful breeze. It. You manifested yeah, it. Yeah, like because a, really. that's the the power of an artist. Yeah, the manifestation. Yeah. And, and development of, of common consciousness. And I think, yeah. you know, that's our whole philosophy about the, the foundation is bringing past, present, and future in a combination yeah. of all beings yeah. of the creation. We want us to be able to converse with each other. Yeah. You know, we, we are one unit, we are one organism, yeah. and we're just finding our tribes. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Do you, would you like to elaborate in your paintings? To me, I'm amazing and I totally understand and I feel it, I'm here. Cool, man. We've been here for uh, almost, what, like three hours. Yeah. So uh, I feel it, but would you like to elaborate it for the, for the public? Uh, I mean, this is education for the public, you know? The, the more they get from the inside, because this is an insight. Yeah. Okay, this is very private to you. Mm -hmm. This is very uh, personal. personal. So if you could elaborate, to, I mean, to the to the to the needed one, because sure. they are needed. We they just don't need, they don't realize it. Mm -hmm. But we are needed. We're all needed of education, of to be free, to yeah. get to that seed mm -hmm. as you bring it up. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to elaborate? Yeah. Sure. It's please, like, uh, please. Like this, this, this piece here. I painted this. Uh, there's a lot, a lot going on underneath it that I painted over. And then it's me and my, my son, Elijah, and my daughter, Angelina. And it, it just, just happened. I never thought about uh, painting them and me. It, never, it just happened. And I painted it. And then I walked away from it. And then I came back to it. 
And I said, oh, whoa, look at that. It's, it's me and my kids. So I just left it, and I haven't seen it since it dried. It's all hand-mixed pigment, you know? And because uh, I never think about what I'm gonna paint um, while I'm painting. I might think about it, and then I try to uh, trick myself to forget it so that it's in my mind. That's an acting, that's an old acting thing. Put it in the back pocket, walk on stage, forget it. Do all, all your homework, and then as soon as you walk on stage, forget about it completely, and just deal with what's happening with you and the other person, put your focus on the other person. So I took that uh, through with my paintings, that's how I paint. And I just focus on what's happening here, like a dream, and then I walk away and boom, it's, it's here. This piece, this is the, uh, there's a painting, here wait, there's this piece that's on metal. This is uh, my building uh, where I lived in New York on 47th Street, 344 West 47th Street. And it's the light in the windows of the brownstone. And then that piece is, again, the same image, this painting. And it's the same exact image. And yesterday, um, you know, it was exactly like this. It was what I call a, a background, or you could call it an abstract painting. Uh, I just see it as music, and until there's a figure in it. So that was what this was yesterday, and then uh, and then I painted this figure in it. I just kind of brought it out, lit it up. We just got puppies. Uh, and there's symbols everywhere. And these symbols are like my tattoos. They're directly from my life. Everything that's in this painting means something to me. You know, this little dot, this little dot. And it's all about balance, bringing stuff together, I guess. And this piece, I'm trying to figure this piece out because it's just a string. So yesterday I painted her in it and her hair, and her face, and her eyes. And with my images, I like them to kind of come and go. I don't want to put anything out there. Uh, I want the viewer to have an experience where they think they see something and maybe not, and then they do uh, changes in the light. I like for my paintings to uh, be different all the time. And I think they are. I think, I think uh, they're alive in that way, in the sense that an image, the image comes and goes. It's hard to describe it, but I think that's, that's pretty much it. Thank you. But well, thank you, Mike, um, for having us here today. What a pleasure. It was, it was, it was an honor to meet you. And, um, you. and of course, um, Anna Siqueiros. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Michael. And thank Judo you. One. Oh. <laughs> And of course, you, Dream One TDK reporting live for the Skittles Foundation. And here you have Mike Ornstein in the studio.